Welcome back to new session. This is your trainer and PMP coach Anand. This is continuation of schedule management knowledge area. In this session, you will learn defined activities process, which is the first process of this knowledge area. The learning objective of this session are, we'll start with the overview to understand why defined activity process is required. We'll talk about the process definition, input tool techniques and output, and some of the key tools and techniques like decomposition, rolling, wave planning. Then we'll talk about activity list, activity attributes, and finally a quick review. Before getting into the process details, let's take a look at list of all six processes. Plan schedule management under planning process group, it is the process of establishing policies, procedures, and documentation for project schedule. Define activities, again under planning process group. It is the process of identifying and documenting specific actions to be performed to produce the project deliverables. Sequence activities, again under planning process group. It is the process of identifying and documenting relationship among the project activities. Estimate activity duration, again under planning process group. It is the process of estimating the number of work period needed to complete individual activities. Develop schedule, planning process group. It is the process of analyzing activity sequences, duration, resource requirement, and schedule constraint to create the project schedule model. And finally, control schedule, which is under monitoring and controlling process group. So first five processes are part of planning process group and last process is under monitoring and controlling process group. Control schedule is the process of monitoring the status of project activities to update the project progress and manage changes to the schedule baseline to achieve intended plan. Define activities is the first process after schedule planning. It takes the result from the create work breakdown structure process and uses it as an input to define activities. What is an activity? It is a distinct scheduled portion of a work performed during the course of project. Let's understand this through an example. Consider software project CRM implementation which we discussed earlier in scope management knowledge area. It's a huge project with multiple modules like customer engagement, marketing, social, etc. And it involves a lot of integration. The scope of project is already baseline and now we want to create a schedule. So what, do you, what you will do next? Since the project has approved baseline, you already have work breakdown structure. Take the work package and identify the activities needed to produce each of them. It is very important to differentiate between work packages and activities. Work packages are nouns because they represent what is to be accomplished. For example, training, building module, completing performance test, etc. And the activities are verbs because they represent how those work packages will be produced. Let's take a work package training. Remember, training as a work package has a tangible value to the organization. Sometimes this work package can even be outsourced. Let's think about activities needed to complete the training work package. So you have identified participants for the training, prepare training presentation, Schedule training, arrange training facility, set up training environment, conduct training. So all these will be the activities to be executed to complete the work package training. Right now, we are not worried about the order of these activities. Let's take a look at process definition. Define activities is a process of identifying and documenting specific actions to be performed to produce a project deliverables. The key benefit of this process is it breaks down work packages into activities that provide a basis for estimating, scheduling, executing, monitoring, controlling the project work. 
Let's go through inputs, tools and techniques and outputs. Inputs are project management plan, enterprise environmental factor and organization process assets. Project management plan. The component of project management plan that will be input to this process are schedule management plan. It will contain guidelines for taking the work breakdown structure and using it to create activity list. Scope baseline. It is approved version of project scope statement, WBS and WBS dictionary. Project scope statement will contain the scope broken down from the customer requirements to the deliverable that will fulfill them. WBS for the breaks down scope to the level of work packages and WBS dictionary contains information about the constraints or other important details associated with each work package. Enterprise environmental factors. Organization culture and structure will affect which scheduling methodology will be used on the project. Organization structure may decide how decisions are made regarding the schedule, either by functional manager or by project manager. Published commercial information helps create activity list from work packages which are already standard to the industry. Project management information system. One of the key component is a scheduling tool. You might use a scheduling tool to directly create activities list. Organization process assets. Lesson learned repository containing lesson learned about how to create a schedule can be useful. Templates, standardized processes might be very helpful. Schedule planning related policies, procedures and guidelines. These details should be already incorporated in the schedule management plan and of course you are going to refer to them. Historical information, information like activity list from previous similar projects. This can be very helpful to kickstart your project activity list. The tools and techniques are expert judgment. So individuals or group who have worked on similar past project would be helpful in identifying activities needed to produce each work package. Then you have decomposition, meeting, rolling wave planning. Decomposition. This is the same technique used in create work breakdown structure process. Now this technique takes the scope in the form of deliverables and divide it into smaller, more manageable parts called work packages. Work packages are complete in itself. They can have a business value. They can be outsourced. Generally, they are noun. Activities are the efforts needed to complete each work package. Generally, they are verbs. So we understand work packages and activities, but who will convert work packages to activities or who will do the decomposition? Decomposition is the best done by team rather than individual because there is always possibility of missing some information when you are working alone. Let's take same example of a CRM project. From this work breakdown structure, we have taken training work package. Let's decompose it into various activities to create activity list. So identifying training participants, preparing training presentation, schedule training, arrange training facility, set up training environment and conduct training. And any additional information about the activities are included in activity attributes. So decomposition is helping you to take the work package and just split that work package into various activities. Rolling wave planning. Mostly planning is done as a predictive approach where you plan all the details of work ahead of time. However, you may not have enough information, resources or sufficient time to complete detailed schedule and management may ask you to start work immediately. To deal with this, there is another iterative approach called rolling wave planning, where the work in near term is planned in detail in the beginning of project and the future work is planned at higher level. Let's continue with the same example of CRM implementation project. Now project is planned for nine months from Jan to September end. Project scope is baseline, but to develop the detailed schedule, you don't have all resources on board and management is in hurry. 
So you plan first three phases, initiation, study, design and build in detail and left test and operate to plan later. These test and operate are called as planning packages. Planning packages can be created when detailed information is not available. Now you will start the project execution. As you progress, after a month or two, once you get remaining expertise and resources are on board, you will start detailing remaining phases, that is test and operate phase. It is a form of progressive elaboration in which work in near term will be started before the detailed plan is complete for future work. So I hope you understand the concept of rolling wave planning. Meetings. Any planning activity is best done as a team. And this is where meeting are useful tool for planning, especially when dealing with a technique such as decomposition. Participant may include anyone with responsibility for schedule planning and or execution. And the best person to define activities is a person responsible to execute those activities. The tool and techniques are activity list, activity attributes, milestone list, change request, and project management plan update. Activity list. The activity list is the result of decomposition technique applied to the work packages of WBS. Activities are the work required to complete those work packages. If the rolling wave planning technique is used, then the activities list may be updated periodically during the course of project progress. The activity list typically includes a unique activity identifier, WBS reference ID, the identifier of the work package associated with each activity. It can be activity label or name, work description for each activity. Based on the CRM project example, after decomposing tra training package, we got below activities, identify participants, prepare training presentation, schedule training, etc. So what is the key purpose of activity list? It helps in accurate estimation and it helps you to create precise project schedule. Activity attributes are details related to the activities in the activity list. Initially, we have attributes like activity identifier, work breakdown structure ID, activity label or name. Additional attributes will be updated as we progress in the process of schedule creation. So what are those additional attributes? It can be resource requirement, geographic area or place, predecessor activities, successor activities, etc. Milestone list. A milestone is a significant point or event in a project. A milestone list identifies all project milestones. They are used for setting schedule goals and monitoring progress of the project. Remember, a milestone is considered to have a zero duration because they represent a point or event of the project and it's not an activity to be executed. Milestone may be mandatory, for example, contractual milestone, or it can be just a planning, which is used for guidance purpose. Change request. If a progressive elaboration is used as a planning technique, the additional level of activities may be uncovered in the further iterations. Remember, in CRM project, new activities will be identified for a work package that is test and operate phase. So in such a scenario, activities are added to the activity list through a change request. If these activities will add additional time or cost, then project baseline will also get updated. Project management plan update. As you know, all baselines are a part of project management plan. So schedule and cost baseline may get changed due to addition of new activities to the activity list. Schedule baseline. As work package are progressively elaborated into activities, New work may be revealed, which was not part of the initial schedule baseline. Similarly, cost baseline. If additional activities are added to the activity list, then the cost associated with these activities will be added to the cost baseline. Remember, baselines are updated only after approved change request. 
Good job, you have completed defined activities process. Let's do a quick review. In overview, we learn purpose of defined activities process through a CRM project example. Then we gone through process definition, talked about input tool techniques and outputs. Some of the tools and techniques like decomposition and rolling wave planning, which are very important. We also talked about outputs like activity list and activity attributes. See you in next session to learn sequence activities process. Thank you.